Today we'll be working on multiplication 3a. We'll be solving a two digit by two digit multiplication. We're going to be using area model and standard algorithm. Our first problem is 26 times 21. A possible word problem for that equation could be a cookie factory produced 21 packages of cookies. There are 26 cookies in each package. How many cookies is the factory produced in all? So we know there was 26 packages, I mean 21 packages, and there's 26 cookies in every package. We want to know how many cookies is the factory produced in all. So we can solve that. 21 and 26 in each one, that's 21 times 26. That would give us a, our total amount of cookies. <clears throat> so we have 26 cookies in each package, there's 21 packages. So we could multiply it as 26 times 21. So 21 are rows. So we can go, we have two tens, so it's 20. And we have one in the ones place is 21. And these are how many are in each row. So 26 cookies are in each of the 21 packages. So this is two tens as a 20, we put it up here. And 6. 20 plus 6 is 26. 20 plus 1 is 21. So we got 21 times 26. But we're going to start on our bottom right corner, right here in this area, right in this box. So first we look to the left. We have 1 times, we look to the top, 6 equals 1 times 6 equals 6. Now we go to our next square, or next box. We look to the left, there's one times, we look at the top, 20. So we go one times 20 equals 20. So now anything times one is equals whatever is multiplied by one. This is the identity property of multiplication. So now we go to the top boxes. Top. So we go, we look to the left, 20 times, we look to the top, six equals. Here we're gonna use a trading zero strategy. We can go what's two times six, two times six is 12. And then we add our trading zero at the end. So it's 120. 20 times six equals 120. So we go to our last square here. So first we look to the left, we have 20 times, then we look to the number on top, it's 20. So again, we use our training zero strategy. So you go two times two, that's four. And then how many zeros do we have left? We have two zeros, so we move those two zeros towards the end. It's 400. 20 times 20 is 400. So now we add all our partial products. So we can do some of this mental math. So we go 6 plus 20, that's 26, plus 120, that's 146. We have 146 plus 400. These are six plus zero is six, zero plus four is four, and four plus one is five. So our answer is 546. So now we can use the standard algorithm. So first, we have to multiply by the one, the number in the ones place down here. So I'm gonna cover that two in the tens place. So I'm gonna have to multiply these two numbers times that number in the ones place. So first I go one times six. One times six is six. Now we go one times two. One times two is two. That two is in the tens place, so it's actually 20. So we go one times 20 is 20, but we're gonna say one times two is two. We put it in the tens place, that gives us 26. Now I look, is there another number up here that I can multiply times that one? I multiplied one times six and one times two. 
there's not another number, so we're done with multiplying with that one. So I'm going to cross it out. So now I look at the tens, please. I might have to multiply this two times those two numbers up here. First, I'm going to multiply times the number in the ones, place, and then times the number in the tens, please. So this number, this two, it's not just a two, it's in the tens, place. It's actually a 20. So we're going to put a zero down here. This is where the answers are going to be when you multiply times that number in the tens place. They go down here. I'm going to put a zero in the ones place as a placeholder because that two is not a two. It's actually a 20. So two and zero, that's 20. If I bring that two over here, that makes it 20. I put a zero in the ones place as a placeholder. So now I can go, what's two times six? That's 12. So I can put the two and I regroup the one. If I can think about it this way, 20 times 6 is 120. We put the 20 down here, we group the 1 in the hundreds place. Now we go 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 more, that's 5. And now all we have to do is add our partial products. So 6 plus 0 is 6. 2 plus 2 is 4 and bring down the 5, 546, 546, that checks out. All right, our next one is 32 times 30. <clears throat> Possible word problem we can make with that is, there are 32 pencils in a box. How many pencils are in 30 boxes? So if there's 32 pencils in each box and there's 30 boxes, we can solve this multiplying 32 times 30. We have 30 boxes. There's 32 in each box. So we can multiply those two numbers to find out how many pencils would be in 30 boxes. <clears throat> so we have 30 boxes. There's 32 pencils in each box. They want to know how many pencils do they have in all. So these are a number of boxes. This would be our rows. We have 30. So how many tens do we have? We have three. That's 30. And how many ones? Zero. 30 plus zero is 30. Now 32, we have three tens, that's 30. Plus two ones, 30 plus two is 32. So we got 32 plus 30 times 30. So we start at the bottom right corner. So we look to the left as zero times two equals, remember anything times zero is always going to be Zero. So again, I go zero times 30. Zero times 30 equals zero. Now I go to this square right here. So I look to the left, we have 30 times, I look to the top, that's two equals. I know three times two is six, and we have one zero. So 30 times 2 is 60. Then I go to our last square, last area here. So we have, we look to the left, it's 30. Times, I look to the top, that's 30. Equals. I know 3 times 3 is 9. And then I have two zeros, so I bring those two zeros over. So that would be 900. Then all I have to do is just add those. So I can go 900 plus 60 is 960, plus zero is still 960, plus zero is still 960. So this would be 960. So now we can check using our standard algorithm. Again, I'm gonna cover the three in the tens place. I'm gonna multiply starting with the digit in the ones place. So I multiply this zero times those two numbers. So first I go zero times two, that's zero. Zero times three, again, that's zero. Now is there another number up here that I can multiply by that zero? There's not another number. So the, I'm done multiplying by that zero. There's not a number up here that I can multiply by that zero anymore. So I'm done with that zero, so I'm gonna cross that one out. So now I'm gonna multiply by the three in the tens place. Remember this three is in the tens place. 
So that three is actually 30. So I'm going to put a zero as a placeholder in the ones place. Now I can say what's three times two? Three times two is six. See how we get 60? This is actually 30 times two is 60. So we put that 60 there. Now, three times three is nine. It's actually saying 30 times 30 is 900. So I put three times three is nine. I put in the hundreds, please. 900, three times three is nine. So now all I have to do is add. 0 plus 0, 0 plus 6, and then bring down that 9. So my answer would be 960. So it checks out from up here. 960 checks out in our area model. 960. Now we're going to see 46, 43 times 16. A word problem we can use for that is there are there are 16 cars on a passenger train. Each car is filled with 43 passengers. How many passengers are in the 16 cars of the passenger train? So there's 16 cars. Each car has 43 passengers. So how many passengers would be in all 16 cars? So we can solve this by multiplying 16 times. 43. There's 16 cars, 43 in each one. So if we look at our equation, these are our train, passenger cars, train cars. So 16 train cars, there's 43 in each one. How many passengers are there now? So 16 are my rows. So I go, there's a 10 and 6, that's 16. 10 plus 6 is 16. Now there's a four tens here, so it's 40 and three. 40 plus three is 43. So 16 plus 43 times 43. So we start at the bottom right corner. So I look to the left, I have six times. I look to the top, I have three. Six times three, six, 12, 18. 6 times 3 is 18. Now I go to the next box. So I look to the left. I have 6 times. I look to the top. 40 equals 6 times 40. So I can use my training zero strategy. I know 6 times 4 is 24. And then just bring that trailing zero. So 6 times 40 is 240. <clears throat> so we go to our top right box. So I look to the left, I have 10 times. I look to the top, that's 3 equals. So 10 times 3, 10, 20, 30. 10 times 3 is 30. So now I go to our last box. I go to the left is 10 times 40 equals. So I know 1 times 4 is 4. And then I have two zeros. So I move over those two zeros. So I have 400. Now all I have to do is add all my partial products. 400 plus 240 plus 30 plus 18. So I'm going to go 400 plus 240, that's 640, plus 30 plus 18. So I'm going to go 400 plus 240 plus 30 plus 18. When you're adding, make sure you line up your place values. These are the ones place, these are in the tens place, and these are all in the hundreds place. These two numbers don't have anything in the hundreds place, so I'm not going to put these numbers over here. So I go 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8, that equals 8. Then 4 plus 3 is 7, plus one more, that's 8. Then 4 plus 2 is 6. Our answer is 688. Remember when you're adding these numbers, make sure you line up your place values correctly. So this is 688. 
So let's try it on the standard algorithm. So again, I'm gonna cover this one. I'm gonna start with the ones place. Now six times three, that's 18. So put eight, regroup the one to the tens place. Now six times four, six, 12, 18, 24, plus one more is 25. So we bring down that 25 down here. <clears throat> now, do I have another number up here to multiply times that six anymore? So there's no other number, so we're done with that six. So now I can multiply this 10. <clears throat> this one is in the tenth place, so it's actually a 10. So remember, I'm going to put my zero as a placeholder and the ones place because that's a 10. So I go one times three is three. One times four, that's four. Now all I have to do is add eight plus zero is eight. Five plus three is eight. Two plus four is six, 688. 688. Now you try the rest on your own.